Well, hello there, YouTube. And I uh, thought I'd do another quick upload, and uh, some people are asking for some more uh, reporting. Uh, so I decided to put this one up here, and I wanted to uh, do a follow up of the storm that we had yesterday when I'm talking about this being ground zero for weather modification where I live. Okay. The storm started yesterday, and if you go look at my video of yesterday of the radar loops, you can see how the storm formed. And they pulled the moisture off over this way. Okay. Normally it would come up over the Gulf, but uh, now you can see what it has morphed into. Okay, now is this a coincidence because uh, we're having the uh, flares coming off of the sun, the X flares? Now I also wanted to put this video up uh, not to show you just about the geoengineering, uh, but also uh, the, I think you need to be on the lookout for an X class flare again, and maybe a pretty big one. I mean. Uh, kind of show you why here on a magnetogram. We got 1884 and 1885 here. Two numbered uh, sunspots that are pretty close together and there's some pretty good electrum, uh, uh, some magnetic mixing here. And uh, we have 1882 over here but they are there's pretty good separation. But the one that's rotating into view right now that would have an earth directed component has some pretty strong mixing right here. And you've got two sunspots here that are just uh, it's just one enormous uh, spot. Um, we had a uh, interruption already, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, a, an eruption already of a CME. It was only a uh, uh, like a 1.9, maybe a M2. Uh, but as you can see, though, we had some quiet uh, for a while. Uh, but that uh, was a result of a uh, western limb uh, eruption coming from uh, sunspot uh, 1877. So if we come back over here, that's uh, 1877 is already rotated out of view. Okay, so it came right off of this uh, uh, limb over here. So uh, this is a group that we're going to want to pay very close attention to. Uh, 1882, perhaps. Uh, uh, but uh, 1884 uh, is the one that's looking pretty scary right now. Um, so I'm out here at solarham.net. Uh, the uh, protons uh, are, like I said, I uh, expect them to stay elevated, and I still do. Uh, they look like it was on a sharp decline, but you can uh, bet that the uh, uh, radiation levels will go back up. And uh, here's a good uh, side here, and this is one of the things that I'm studying, actually. Uh, is the uh, irradiance and uh, so it's something that I really like to uh, check out so here's the irradiance charts here from the SDO and these are like immediate effects okay and we got this at general levels but you can see how it spikes and the spike here right at, at the CME this is the X flare I believe and this is the M flare we just had okay and as you can see, there's immediate um, uh, effects here on Earth. Here's the solar irradiance. Boom. Okay, that was the M flare that we had. Here's the deviation here, uh, position, of degree. Okay, so, or, uh, that's where the uh, CME, I believe, happened there. Right there. So, uh, the University of Colorado Boulder Laboratory for Atmospheric and Space Physics. Uh, it's got some good graphs for ones to follow. So anyway, back here at uh, SolarHand, uh, there is an M2 uh, that just popped off. Uh, it will have some Earth-directed component, by the way, uh, yeah, it, but uh, not. it'll be glancing below, so the spiral will need to be updated. And uh, let's see what's going on with the spiral, by the way. I know I'm into four minutes, but... Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we should be at some overnight and into today. And that's right at Ison, folks, right there, this part here. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy your uh, Earth weather. Because it's uh, space weather first, guys. And I uh, wanted to go ahead and uh, give you another look at the radar. This storm did not go away. It started right here. And they uh, lined it up here. And it developed into this massive rain event that's going across from uh, 
west east of course you think oh that's just old mother nature now look at these storms down here all right <laughs> they're not pulling any energy out here it's being pulled up this way usually they would be pulling energy this way that is if we had a current that went around and went up like that <laughs> all right and it's a very slow mover as you can see several days and uh if you were to go to uh our radar and satellite uh you could definitely see the uh chemtrails <laughs> okay whoa look at there Look at how much of the United States is covered in what, the viewable satellite. Okay. Lots and lots of clouds. Is that a coincidence, folks? See how it's being pulled up uh, over Mexico? Not out of the Gulf of Mexico, folks. See how they pull it off of the, the Southern Pacific? Is that the only place where we have uh, safe water? <laughs> this is all irradiated out here. This has all got the correct zinc and oil and petroleum byproducts methane and everything else in here so <laughs> is this the only way or place we can get our safe water now to water our ground I don't know but these have been the weather patterns where they pull the energy this way pull the energy that way from anything that comes off of here so uh, you know does weather modification have to do with scrubbing the radiation out of the air from Fukushima you know I think they need to have this as a public discussion, honestly, folks. So, uh, but as you can tell, if you want to go ahead and play the map here, should we say that? Point right up this way. The conveyor belts are this way. Up and over. Just massive. Okay, plenty of energy down here. And when it collides here, boom. And you put the right mix in the atmosphere. And you can start cooking it with your microwave energy <laughs> and you produce storms okay and also the energy that's coming in off of the Sun they use that as well they're taking advantage of it with the uh, technology the chemicals that they use so there you go folks you got to look at the Sun and look at the earth weather today and uh, they're both are tied together, folks. Take care.